Hello, and welcome to Learning to Learn. My name is Chris DeCause, and there is a certain something which will become clear that I am profoundly passionate about. There was something I was trying to capture in this collection of clips that transcends the finer details of juggling, object manipulation, and balance that is featured in them. I took a moment one day and used that moment to record the footage for this video in a single session. On the surface, it would appear to be a demonstration of different ways to engage in movement toys. It appears this way because it is, but there is something deeper. Why did I choose these specific moments out of the raw footage? What's special about these moments? Well, with some added perspective, we can see that all the clips fall into two categories of moments. Some of these clips are a demonstration of a single pattern or movement sequence, like this one. These are the movements that I felt were difficult for me in those moments. Difficult enough to require my full conscious attention to complete them as intended. These are the brand new experiences in my life that I'm struggling with, but if I really concentrate, I can engage in them just long enough to share it. And the other clips are moments plucked from larger sequences of improvisation, like this one. These are the movements that feel easy to me. Easy enough to relax, breathe, move, and express myself in finer detail. In these movements, I feel a sense of confidence. I can dance with them. I hear them. I can speak through them. At this level, these clips represent the learning process taking new and thus difficult movements and practicing them, increasing your experience with them until they are automatic processes that can be performed with ease. But there is more, even deeper. Why am I taking the time to learn these movements in my life? Who am I? So far in my life, I have delved heavily into several different genres or languages of movement and have collected many labels along the way. I'm a guitarist, pianist, drummer, singer, songwriter, music producer, sound engineer, object manipulator, juggler, fire performer, skateboarder, and visual artist, but the true focus of my efforts lies outside of all of these labels. Along the way, I started to see what brought all of these different ways of moving together. I came to see that, and this seems crucial, the process by which you learn one thing is the process by which you learn anything. All movement is united through this process of curiosity, learning, and creating. The way you learn to walk is the way you learn to cook, is the way you learn to relate to others, and so on. But what really intrigued me was the implications of the fact that everyone learns a little differently and at different speeds. Why are some people able to learn new things with greater ease, speed, and confidence than others? It then hit me that learning is a skill in itself, a skill that can be improved upon and finessed. When you consciously improve the way that you learn, you increase your learning efficiency and learn faster. The greater the efficiency of the learning process, the more one can experience in a lifetime, the deeper and richer life can be. I learn these movements not to become a better juggler or a guitar player or any of that, but to become a better learner, a better communicator, a better listener, and to experience this life as deeply as I can. At this level, these clips represent myself. Every moment in the video represents time and energy, failure and perseverance, a challenge overcome. This is my life, and these are my dreams. But, let us go deeper still. Why am I sharing myself with you in this way? What is this all about? The answer, which there are several, is the source of my passion and what I have chosen to use my energy to reinforce. I want to inspire. I want to show others what you can achieve when you focus on the learning process. I want to demonstrate the power of our minds to actualize our dreams. I want to help others remember our true potential for learning. I want to be an example of the notion that you can do anything that you set your mind to. We are all susceptible to perspectives such as, this is too difficult, 
I won't be able to do that in my lifetime, and I'm just not naturally good at this. I desire to share insight that can be used to let go of these perspectives when they appear, to push against fear and doubt with understanding and confidence, and open the road to your dreams. This is about something that we all struggle with, finding our way through this overarching process of learning and understanding that we call our lives, history, and the future, a process that even gravity bows to. This is about an idea, a notion, a perspective, that the limits of reality are the limits of our imagination. And we can all feel that imagination has no inherent limits, which implies that the only thing that stands in the way of something being done is a belief that it can't be. I want to take the notion of possible and impossible out of the equation when we're thinking of trying something new. I want to take the question, will I be able to do that, and turn it into, where do I start? I want you to know that we are all natural artists. We all inherently engage in creativity to move through our lives. Every decision, a creative decision. Our visions become our environment, and our environment becomes a reflection of our inner selves and our universal struggle of experiencing existence. Here we all are, exploring the infinite curiosity of the cosmos on an eternal mission to experience ourselves. There are so many inspiring individuals in the world that share the same message. But it is a message that feels so intensely important to our evolution that I can't help but pour energy into reinforcing it. Learning to Learn features tutorial videos in movement activities like juggling, balancing, and other forms of object manipulation. Activities that get you moving and get your blood flowing, that inspire joy that fully engage your brain and your attention, that increase your creative potential, that improve health, wellness, and coordination, and that help foster a more intimate relationship with the learning process. I urge you to not only learn the movements that I teach, if you're interested, but to also learn from the way that I learn and apply that insight to accomplishing your own dreams. That being said, I urge all to view what I say with skepticism. What is true today may not be true tomorrow. All is destined to change into something new. My intention is not to establish truth, but to effectively share my perspective. My name is Chris DeCause, and welcome to Learning to Learn. Thank you.